application forward, let me ask you this. Have you ever stopped to ask yourself this question? How do I decide whether something is good or bad? Just in general. Have you ever stopped to ask? And until recently, I'd never stopped to ask myself that. And I'm pretty sure you haven't. Because it's not a thing that we do. It's not a thing that we stop and say, hey, I wonder how I came to, <laughs> to make this decision. Right? I wonder how I decided what went through this process. We don't. Right? Now, if everything is comprised of a yin and yang, then it also means that some good and bad, you know, things happen. And how do we determine, you know, this for ourselves? Like, how do we decide, do I like this album that I'm listening to or I don't like this artist? What goes into that? What influences that decision? Right? But the one thing that we must always consider when we're making a decision about something, we have to factor in the circumstance. Right? The circumstance itself. What's happening that's pushing me to have to decide? What caused that thing to happen where I'm now having a reaction to it? Did the artist, I'm using the, the, the album or the music as an example, because did the artist that I'm judging now, did they say something in an interview or um, in a song or did they share their view on something, a subject matter that I either experienced or have an issue with? But the real question is where and how did I come to the, the, the situation, the conclusion that I have an issue with this? And that's really where I'm trying to go with this, right? How would you determine, right? I'm going to give you some examples here and then you can kind of process it on your own, right? But think about the circumstance with every scenario that I'm going to share with you. And I'll break it down a little bit more so it makes a little bit more sense for you guys, right? So check this out. How would you determine if the following... Um, are good or bad a union in a work environment a marriage right how do you determine if it's good or bad a chocolate bar how do you determine if that's good or bad alcohol how do you determine if that's good or bad a job a mortgage or even being unemployed right so the idea or or the circumstance of unemployment how do you know if it's good or bad depends on your situation or the circumstance and how it relates to you. So any one of these or a few of them might be your reality, right? Or not. But however, you need to, you need like two things. And these are critical. These things are critical in order to address the question, right? Because remember, the question is, how do you know which one, whether one of these things that I listed are good or bad? That's what you need to figure out. That's the question we're asking. And what I'm telling you is the two things that you're going to need to be able to process this. For example, the first one's going to be the specific circumstance or the situation that we're speaking about. Okay? That's the first thing you need to know. You need to know what is this situation that I'm talking about or that I have to make a decision about in terms of whether it's good or bad. The second thing I need to be concerned about is what is my measuring stick? Because we we need something to measure, right? Or determine what it is and how does it impact me now? How did it impact me in the past? And how will it impact me in the future moving forward? But regardless, I need a measuring stick. I need something to measure it with. I need to compare it to. And how do I do that? What is that thing? Okay. But those two things you need, you need to know what the situation is specifically because every situation is unique, right? And for example, no two job places, no two um, work environments are equal. The only thing that's going to be generic is that we have people that work in that space and that's it, right? People show up to work in that space and they get paid when they leave that space or when their time, you know, that they put in is is up and they get paid for it they get compensated for it but that's about it no two people are alike 
no two scenarios or experiences can be the same. And so that's why it's important to be more specific. And then you have to look at what am I comparing it to? Because I get paid just like the other person gets paid. But do I have a mortgage or does that person own their home? That changes our circumstances. It also changes a lot of things about the job that we're doing. You get what I'm saying? So we need a measuring stick. So we're going to use a job as an example, okay? Let's break it down a little bit. Besides, many of you can relate to a job, so I think it just makes sense for me to use it, right? Uh, either you're employed now or you have worked at some point in your your life. And so that's why I think it's a, it's a nice little, um, I guess, consensus for me to use. So a few things. We must consider a few things uh, before taking the job, right? So let's say you applied for a job. You have to consider a few things before you even accept a job. Like, how much does it pay? How far is my commute to work? What is traffic like? And does it have any benefits? Is this a full-time opportunity or is it a part-time opportunity? Or possibly, is it just seasonal? All these things are going to have an impact, right? And they're specific. So... Which one of these am I going to address? Like, which one is it applies to me and how do I react to these things, right? We have to also cons consider a few things. Whether we're going to get along with our coworkers. Am I going to like them? Are they going to like me? Am I going to get along with my supervisors? Uh, do I like my managers? And overall, the company, how, you know, how does the employer treat its employees in the workplace, me as a person looking for a job or in a job, these are things that I process. I would have to process because they impact me. They're going to have an impact on me, my family, and anybody who's connected to me.